What's up guys, it's your boy Chabon Stunner and I want to dive straight into today's topic. Um, today we're going to be talking about something that's quite controversial. And um, this one comes from my homie Black Rhino. But the uh, question and the answer that I'm going to give and the whole topic centers around do you really need a squad in first person shooter games today? And that is a mixed... I have mixed emotions about do you or do you not need a squad because um, I think in certain games, yes, and in certain situations, yes, but it's kind of tough sometimes depending on your situations. Uh, you know, as I've said before, I work in media and I can't always get on with the squad. And then, you know, uh, like most of the folks that I play with are grown and they have families and other things that they have to tend to. So they just really can't always, you know, play with me. And I, I play sporadically, as you guys know. I may be on for, you know, every day for a month straight. Then you not see me on for two months. It just depends on how bad my wife didn't whoop my ass or not, you know. Um, it, it, it really depends. And it depends on what else I have going on in my life, you know. Um, if if I'm, I'm working on different projects or, or, or what I'm doing, I may just not feel like playing the game at that particular point. So that makes it very hard to catch up with the squad, you know, uh, all the time. Um, but there are situations and times when having a squad is the thing. I mean, is the thing to do and the thing to be. Um, it's important because you, you want somebody watching your back. Case in point, this gameplay right here. I'm playing with a bunch of people I don't know, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm having fun just going around trying to do my thing, but it, I had nobody to watch my back, and that can be, you know, could, could have been disastrous, could have, could have been an issue, but, you know, luckily these guys were decent enough players, um, kind of like myself, that, that we were able to pull through, oh, and I got knifed in the back, you scumbag, but, you know, it's, I feel like I probably could get more kills and have a better KD if I actually did run with the squad more often. And I think that people who run with the squad generally do um, have better uh, KDs and better win percentages. Now, that is not the rule. That's just something that, uh, watch this Rambo shit I'm finna do. Oh, he drops dead man's hand. See you. Boom. Um, but, you know, it's. I don't know. I have mixed uh, opinions both ways about it, you know. Um, KD is not the most important thing to me. Uh, the most important thing is is to have fun. Hence is why at the end of the day you can call it whatever you want to call it, but it's a game. And you play it for enjoyment. You play it to have fun. Um, you know, you, you, you however do want to win, but realistically speaking... Um, that's that's not always going to happen whether you're with the squad or not uh you know i was playing with this, i was playing with some guys that were fucking awesome and we played against some some other guys that were on the squad and that ass because we had uh, i play a lot of domination it's pretty much all you guys are going to see that and kill confirmed in my gameplays uh i am not a team deathmatch kind of guy because i like objective based games um but anyway, I mean, we, we, we beat the shit out of them because we were holding the bases down and they really didn't have anywhere to spawn and, and the rest was history. But um, those are few and far between. Uh, the majority of the time, I hop on and I hop into a, into a game late where the other team is getting beat to shit and people are just waiting around the corners and say, oh, there's an easy kill, bam. So you can't run out, so you have to camp or you have to hide out or exit the game and look for a better game. Uh, I'll never forget, there was this one time I was playing Village on uh, Modern Warfare 3. And there was this whole team of uh, uh, level 7 Skullhead Prestiges, which is like actually level 17s. And it was the whole team. And I'll never forget that uh, I got spawned into the game and I said, okay, who am I playing with? So the score was already like 162 on domination to like 40. So I was like, holy shit, this, this is a beatdown. So... Um, I said, you know what, I'm going to stay in this room and hopefully, you know, we'll be able to swap up or do something different the next time because we were playing against the squad. So, um, you know, I was ducking around and hiding and I did camp. Um, you know, I'd be the first to say it. And 
uh, I killed one of them. I killed another one. Then I, I left my camping spot because only a fool would stay in the same camping spot. And I killed the same guy like a second or third time. This motherfucker was so furious that he sent me a private message. You pussy punk bitch and all this other shit. Um, you, you had to camp to kill me. Like this is a camper right here. Bam. Um, you, you had to camp to kill me. You're a piece of shit motherfucker and all this and, and, and that. And I said, go fuck a goat. And he was like, uh, you know, we went, we didn't really go back and forth because I wasn't going to argue with him because I'm like, it's easy to talk shit when y'all are spanking the hell out of another team, you know. And I think they end up beating us like uh, 200 to 60 or some stupid shit like that. And I'm like, it's easy to talk shit when you completely dominate the motherfucker that comes into the game. What do you expect me to do? You expect me to just run out and uh, wave the wave the white flag and say, kill me? And, you know, he, his answer probably to himself was, yeah, that's what I want. I mean. I want an easy kill, but I'm like, you know, you, you got to be smarter than the average bear. You, got, I mean, you, you, you can't expect for people to play like that. Uh, you know, not playing with. Uh, let me just say this: the spawn system and the matchmaking system on on Modern Warfare Three fucking blows, and it wasn't that great on Black Ops, but what it does is it is it encourages camping because you get placed in games a lot of times where you have no choice because you get you get in a game that what 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 a fucking team you get lumped into is getting molly and you have no no choice but to camp uh because they're camping waiting on you to run out so they can fucking kill you what do you guys think about that let me know um but back to the, the original subject you see how you can easily jump off on the tangent um when, when, when I think about uh, playing with a squad-based game and, and really having to have a team in order to, uh, to, 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 to feel comfortable, I think of like Battlefield, uh, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, uh, Medal of Honor to a great ex, greater ex, uh, extent. Um, I think about those games because you, you just got you to have a team to, to run that shit. If, I mean, if you run naked or as I call by yourself, you you may do all right if you're a bad motherfucker swinging dick a mile long, but but after a while, you know you're gonna have some issues, and and, and especially if you go up against a well organized team, because the way I see it, you got a couple types of motherfuckers on the team. You got your rushers, you got your scout people that get a few kills but really play more strategic. Um, your your best shooters are gonna be your rushers or your people that that have the better KDs, and then you've got your other folks, which are your 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 people that capture like that go after the objective. Whether you're, you're detonating the bomb, setting the bomb, or whether you're you're defusing one, or whether you're capturing the flag uh, in the in the traditional sense, or if you're capturing a base in domination. So I mean, those are pretty much the types of folks that you have. Um, that that play on a team. Um, when you're not playing on a team, you gotta do all that shit by yourself because you can't depend on another motherfucker to pick you up. Uh, one of the craziest shits that happens in this particular game, um, is that somebody will see you in last stand and not pick you up on your team, just run right the fuck past you and not pick you up. And you know you have to damn near shoot at them. And I mean, you have to shoot at them and do all knife them ankles and everything for them to, to notice that you're there. Then they'll pick you up, which I think is fucking bonkers. But you know, it 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 is what it what it is. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I I personally think that you can run the Call of Duty engine and do okay without a team. Some people like to do that long wolf thing, but you know, at at, at the end of the day. Um, it helps. I don't care if it's motherfuckers you meet online. You really need to try to run with somebody to have your back. Because look at this crazy shit right here. I st all them fucking hit markers. God damn you, Black Ops. Uh, but but l let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think I, that that uh, to squad or not to squad. That is the question. Um, let me know what your experiences with the squad are. And let me know what your experiences running uh, solo are. Um, I'm interested because I don't know. Now, what, here's some Matrix shit finna happen right here. Watch this motherfucker right here. Whoop! Boom! Then we both go to shooting each other, and this motherfucker shoot me out. He all, I don't know what the fuck just happened. I can't explain it. Um, 
you saw some odd shit in, in Black Ops. I hope it, and to be honest, I hope it's back in uh, Black Ops uh, Part 2 because it was funny. <laughs> yeah, you don't see the same uh, body movements in uh, Modern Warfare 3 that you saw in, in, in Black Ops. And I know um, some of you guys thought that I was overly critical in, in my last video of GameStop. Well, you know, I just used them as the example, but there's a lot of uh, places I'm not very happy with um, in, in in terms of uh, service and, and how they, you know, Best Buy is another one. Um, shit, uh, who else? Toys R Us, they just done fell the fuck off. And that used to be like the bomb ass spot to go and get um, games and shit because there wasn't no GameStop back in my day. <laughs> but, but you know what do you guys think i heard some people say amazon and other places uh you know the mail around here is kind of tricky and i don't trust the mail that's why i don't really want a lot of games and shit to be delivered on the the first day because I'm, I'm too scared that shit might not get there um so anyway um summing up this video about to get ready to try to wrap it up um i definitely think that i'm gonna try to do more running with the squad in the next uh, black ops game so if you down i'm down let's be down no homo and i'm definitely sure that uh i'm gonna try to do more mini map watching because that's fucking me up let me know what you guys think it's been real another video see you tomorrow i'm out peace yeah i know i was gonna get the gun stop stop you're complaining about everything wait who